there. Scale vertical zero. It gives us some nice square charts. And now I will bump these to the left, move to the left, so they are lined up with each other. Bump this one to the top. That one to the bottom. But I still don't want them on the very edges because the aliasing when you have textures put on stuff, it could distort things. So you always got to leave some bleed around your charts. You want area for bleed. So, so if you don't, you have like a difference in color there. It's going to bleed into your texture because of the anti-aliasing that most texture maps use. And it'll look funny. So you always want room so you can paint over for bleed. See this bottom should have enough room, so yeah, it's like it has enough room around it. So that I think I'll leave where it is. So once you get your charts laid out like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting the chart for the lid on the same map. So I'm going to be leaving room right here for it ahead of time because I know it will fit. Anyhow, we're going to create texture. Let's create texture. That size seems fine for now, but if you need it higher, you can go higher. And I'm going to click OK. Now, if you have a computer where you don't have enough graphics RAM, your chart will probably turn black on you and you won't be able to see it, but it'll still be there, and when you take it into a rendering program, it will still work. But my computer has enough graphics RAM. But it has another bug, and you'll probably see it in a moment. So I'm going to click OK anyways, but you probably see what's going on. OK. Uh huh. So it looks like it worked. Create texture. OK. Didn't do it last time. Let's see. Interesting. So last time, I didn't get this. Instead, it turned transparent. And this time it worked. But I believe my computer has there's some like OpenGL issues with AMD ATI Radeons that NVIDIA cards don't have. And every now and then you'll see one pop up. Like things like backface calling or it'll get transparency at weird times. Because I had a computer with NVIDIA it never had problems with wings, but if you have a Radeon computer OpenGL is a little screwy, and sometimes you'll see weird stuff. Didn't happen this time, but my trial run I did it, it was weird. Anyhow, I'll show you a lid now. So let's turn on the lid. Now we'll do the UV mapping by faces. I believe that's okay. Just the center portion. And we don't need to do any chart separation or anything here. We're going to treat this all as one thing. Continue, and we can actually do projection normal. We just want one big circle. Here it is. It's way too big. We're just going to scale uniform. To move it to the upper right corner. And now we will create texture. 
but we want to change the background from this to yeah, JRAV. Okay. <laughs> so now we see it's still too big, it overlaps. Let's shrink that a little bit. Great texture again. And as you can see, it's under. This pattern might be a little bit distracting and it might make your files too big, so we'll go backwards again to fix that. <laughs> so, where were we? We were at jar. It's like the jar. V mapping with left click, and we already have the trice up here. Create the texture again, and background options. We just want color, and white should be fine. So let's do OK. See, this is where I ran into the glitch now. See how this is? Yeah, now it's showing it. Because this should be showing up as white with the lines on it. And because I am on an AMD Radeon or ATI Radeon, it's showing as transparent, which makes no sense. But on NVIDIA, you should see it solid with the lines. It's just being weird. I don't know if it's a wings glitch or a Radeon glitch, but OpenGL knows graphics cards. <laughs> it's screwy. All right. And now back to the lid. And it's like interesting. Oh, I know why. I gotta do it that way. There we go. And great texture. We don't want color here, we want image like so. There we go. For some reason see the color background is showing up as transparent. Well this shouldn't give you any problems when you go to render it on another program. It's just a glitch if you're on the AMD or ATI radians. Yeah. And videos it should look perfect. Intels, I don't know. Intels are kinda the but here you go. So now we have the jar. <laughs> just transparent where it isn't supposed to be. But let's see it like so. But now we have two separate maps. Wait, two separate maps? Yeah, I can't. I don't want to do that. I wanted to show it. Oh, it's coming in transparent here. That's weird. Because so I set it to a color. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's showing transparent. <laughs> Maybe it's a wings bug. It should be a color, not a transparency. Anyhow. But I want both of those to be on the same material. So I'm going to pick the jar and the lid. And I am going to switch to face mode so I can get to materials. Right click the new material. I'm going to call it a jar glass. Give it some diffuse and ambient. As you can tell. Just making stuff up. Set the opacity down like so. 
right now there's no UVs assigned to it. But what I am going to do is take the lead AUV because that one was created last. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta select it. This one has everything on it. It's already other one is missing this part. So you want the lead AUV because that was created last. I am going to pick up the image and drop it on jar of glass, diffuse. Now we don't need the lead AUV like that. We don't need the jar AUV like that. We don't need this one. Delete. This one has all the maps on it. We are going to rename it. Because it's a texture map, I'll just call it jar glass map. That's usually easier to figure out than AUV wings to fuck. And since we're applying materials and stuff, It should be good enough for now. It's just something general. And we should be good to go for rendering elsewhere, so. Yeah. That will be good to go. So now we do file save. And when you go to render, you go export. And there's a whole bunch of options. But wavefront object is the one we usually like. And you export that to wherever you're going to use it. Import another software and render. I might show that like after this. I think I'll show it on Carrera. You can use whatever software you want, but yeah. Just export, save. And in addition to the object file, there will be MTL files and your texture maps. They should be named just as they are here. So before you export your object, you might want to create a folder specifically for that so all the stuff that goes with it stays together and in Windows you can just right click new before you even save and create a folder right up here but that's pretty simple so that's it see you next time I'll show a quick render maybe paint on a labels on the map so that's it good luck have fun